What are we talking about? Slick? What are we talking about? We're talking about Shane and me interviewing the biggest and best celebrity of all time. All time. Hey, Chris. Hey, David. Mr. Hasselhoff. David Mr. Hasselhoff. Oh, David God. Hasselhoff in honor yep. of Ready to Rumble Revolution on the Wii, which I couldn't... No, oh, Hassel Snap. I could not. I could not get him to discuss the game for more than a couple seconds. Uh, neither could I when I asked him about playing games. He was all over the place. I, I had. I feel bad. He was a very nice guy. I do have to play this. Hey, I've gotten everything today. So we're like your fiftieth phone call. No, 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 not fiftieth, but um, it's, it's cool. You'll do the last one, and then I'm off and running. Oh, okay. I'm off and running. <laughs> <laughs> He's half and running. He's half and running. Jesus, he is. Oh wow. wow! My my last name is Wild, and I don't use it. <laughs> I don't and use I'm it wild. as a clearly, joke. Clearly, you need to make more jokes. About I don't it. think I've ever used my last name as a joke, and it's Wild. The thing is, I'm sure that Wild thing. I'm sure that he's doing it in reaction <laughs> to everyone else on the planet. Yeah. Jokes out hey, so everyone, yeah. start using my last name as a joke. I'd really appreciate it. I need something to distinguish myself. He's a wild man. He parties. All right. Woo! Yeah. He wanted to put it out there that he's like, Americans think he's a joke. And that painted the entire... I, I don't have a lot of clips of that, but there was a lot of, like, the comedian, oh, man, it's all so messed up. Yeah, it was very self-depreciated, it, but, it, but not humorous. The guy, the, the guy is very charismatic. I was, like, I had all these questions prepared. He, uh... He Heisman me, boom, stiff arm, <laughs> like would not let me answer them, and and was just kind of funny. And this is like at the very beginning of the interview, something where he um, committed a PR disaster after I told him he was free to curse. Say whatever you want, but you should do that. You should invent a game like for people with Tourette syndrome. <laughs> you know, like everyone get up and send somebody who can say as many curse words as possible. How would you control it? Well, yeah, well. <laughs> 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 Have you ever? Uh, he was just about to go into his routine about a Tourette syndrome. Have you ever eaten a hamburger wow. on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> it goes a little something like this. Ugh. I think it may go a little something like this. Uh, he uh, he's in Ready to Ready to Rumble Revolution uh, boxing, the third game in the Ready to, Ready to Rumble se uh, series. A he's franchise playing... that I thought was all but dead. Until... All but dead, but it was it was never bad. Is the thing. It was always Tough it was always kind guys. of fun. I always associated it with the Dreamcast launch, which makes me associate it with failure. Because this, uh, I don't want to uh, paint this picture that I hated the Dreamcast because I did not. I, I was actually very did, attached but... to it, but it's just like, at this point, all I can think of those launch games was, wow, Dreamcast launch was not very good. I don't, I don't know why I depended on I depended on Mr. Hasselhoff for more information, because the, the second game you played is Michael Jackson called Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Michael Jackson loved the Dreamcast. Yeah. For whatever reason. And uh, but he's playing a character called Dewey Strudel. Dewey Strudel. It's not really David uh, Hasselhoff. I look. I gotta give no, the man. No, but it's making fun of the fact that he's back in Germany. I gotta give the man a little a little leeway to talk about his character. Hearing and ready to rumble revolution. Back. Well, no, my parody is your parody. my caricature. I have no choice but to appear. <laughs> but he represents your likeness, right? Not even close to my likeness. No, is it? But I mean, I have a bra line, so I, ha I have to promote it. Okay. Um, actually, when it came across my desk, I said, well, well, they can't do this. They can't do this. They said, yes, they can. It's a parody of you. You're Dewey Strudel. I said, well, then I better promote it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect logic. Well, you can't well then I better them. promote it. But I, had all, I had all these questions prepared, like... Well, wait, what, wouldn't... If, 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 like, let's say someone made a likeness, a parody of me in a game, and then I came across my desk, and I was like, well, they can't do that. Yes, they can. It's parody. Well, I should promote it. I would just give them permission to use my likeness at that point. Because I didn't, I didn't I, use because it. Because if I were promoting it, that's the same he as made, me. He made the example of the E! True Hollywood story. We're doing a documentary about you. Right. I'm not going to participate. Well, we're doing it anyway. Well, I may as well... Uh, yeah, well, participate like, for some money. Didn't didn't Dennis Rodman like finally end up voicing Zach in one of the DOA Extreme games? No like idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on yeah. it. I'm on it. So, Until then, I think I should it, play. Uh, I should play a clip about how interest. my failed line of questioning uh, went about. Do you appear shirtless in the game? It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I have a shirtless and I have a bra line. I only noticed. I 
That's Why does he keep saying draw line? I did because I was really trying to avoid that whole. Oh, you were drunk on camera eating a hamburger. Like I don't, I don't care yeah. about that. Doesn't it, it's not funny to me. And it was like he was baiting me to ask him that. Kind of, uh, kind of. It, it kind of seemed like he was angry that you were asking him about the game. But I, I was only yeah. asking because I Google searched him and then hit images. The first three pages are him shirtless. So I just I just assume his body repels fabric or something like that. <laughs> um, according according to IMDb, he did voice Zach in the Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Jeez. Oh, wow. Wow. Way to go. Thank you. Wow, Wikipara strikes again. Somebody calls you in the patch contest a uh, Rippy. Michael Rippy Rippara. <laughs> you, you need to have some awards. Rippy or Rippy? Rippy. You need to have some Rippy. awards called the Rippies. Rippy, like uh, the Rippies. Oh, young James Spader, and uh. And do we all remember his 1999 hit, <laughs> Simon Says? <laughs> okay. With a Z. Enough of this bullshit. I conquered a barrier and did so, a lifelong dream. I told David Hasselhoff he was a, he was free to say whatever he wanted. I'm the only celebrity who sucked up. Uh, he uh. uh, <laughs> uh, uh <laughs> I asked him. I what asked him. Suck up? I, I mean, asked him if I asked him if he liked games and how how involved with games he actually was. I should preface that a little more. I'm the only celebrity who sucked up to a game store opener three years ago using my name. Hi, it's David Hasselhoff, Night Rider, Baywatch, to get a game for my daughter because that's all she wanted was the Wii, and I couldn't understand what the fuck a Wii was. <laughs> And yeah. so I went out and got a Wii, sucked up to the guy, couldn't believe it was me, and now I'm hooked on on this game. I'm, I'm actually hooked on a lot of the Wii games, especially Guitar Hero. And <laughs> yes. And oh, that, that Wii game, Guitar Hero. <laughs> he, uh, dude, he's, he's a commanding force. I thought, like, I'm tough, I'll get in there. He he he, worked, he threw me around the ring interview wise. <laughs> Destroyed you. <laughs> and, but that but then I I let Shane in, and because he started talking about tag it, I ta Shane tag. Let's see how you can do. Uh, he, he was talking about his music. Are we familiar that he sung a song in the Berlin Wall? And I wanted to include more. The, peop I, do, the people of our age area know the Berlin Wall. <laughs> the Berlin Wall. It was the wall separating West and East Germany. <laughs> something that was set up during the Cold War, and David Hasselhoff sung a song on it while it was being tearing, torn down, My basically bridging East and West Germany into fucking Germany again, yeah. circa 1989, and he was there, kind it was, of... It was uh, Christmas Eve, it was he was there, he, Janu like, in January 3rd, it, it went yeah, down... That's... I remember watching it on TV, but I was yeah, really, yeah. really I young. I remember not understanding it. My parents not telling me, my, it's a historic day. It's a parents, historic my day. My parents said, look at this. And I still, to this day, have not read enough about it to understand. Yeah, I didn't get but it. The, the funny thing that I, I didn't I didn't have time to include, because I'm trying to make this short, because this is like a 30-minute interview that he uh, hung up on me on, uh, <laughs> is, is that... Uh, no, he just he had, he had a lot of... He had a lot of if, if people really want to hear this full interview, let me know. We'll post it. Shane took... Did you spill... Don't worry about it. I'm under the table. I'm just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Bread is all under the table is that a, with is a that paper a towel. He didn't spill anything. You're eating right. off the floor? I, I spilled could... some of my soda. Delicious Dr. Pepper on the like floor. Shane, <laughs> Shane denies this. I, I asked him, like, man, were you throwing jabs? At, at, Absolutely at not. No. It's okay. It's okay. It's on record. Like, I thought it, it sounds like Shane is like, yeah, well, well, hold on here. We'll listen Shane to this made clip. jabs at the huff? Shane was Shane was re really apt to be like to ask anything like way more than I was. He was he didn't from the audio you don't seem as intimidated as me. I believe the song was looking for freedom. Is that correct? That was the song that was number one for eight weeks in Germany when the wall came down. Man, that that is exciting. Okay, so what was it like to single-handedly <laughs> reunite Germany? So, well, I didn't do it single-handedly. Simon Cowell helped me. Simon Cowell, okay. <laughs> okay. It was Simon Cowell who actually did it. It wasn't really me. It was Simon, Simon Cowell. All credit goes to Simon Cowell. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you no. say, single-handedly reunite Germany, and then he says, it wasn't just me, as if he implies that he did, in fact, reunite Germany <laughs> to some extent. <laughs> well, well, I'll he, take a part of that. Well, I, I was only, you know, about a third of the reuniting Germany force. He handled it really well, and Shane handled it really well. And this exchange is long, but it has the greatest payoff of all time. It makes me feel bad because it's don't like, let it make you feel bad yeah. because it means that you really had an exchange going. And Shane denies this, but I thought, man, you you were ready for this guy. You sound really sarcastic. 
<laughs> yeah, that's very interesting. Hey, <laughs> what about this? <laughs> Not yeah. at all. We were slotted for 15 minutes. Okay, this is what I was, I was thinking of the business side of the interview. We were slotted for 15 minutes. This guy was talking for like over 20, and he's rambling, and I want to hear more questions, and I didn't want him to cut us off and say, hey, I got to go because we want to get a talk radar plug. What happened? After about 25 to 30 minutes, that's exactly what he did. So I was trying to segue and go into more. Plus, I was nervous from talking to David Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff. So, and what he was saying about the Berlin Wall was interesting. So I was... Seriously, uh, seriously, post in the forums. Right. If you want us to post the whole interview, it's like 25 minutes. I'll be happy to do so. Here's, here's Shane talking to David Hasselhoff. Because I have to steer the conversation back to games. And <laughs> you're no stranger to games. Do you, do you play any other video games besides any of the knocking out in particular? I should say that I edited this a little bit because his daughter came in the room. Yeah. And he, hey, what's up, honey? Like, and that kind of destroys an interview. Play, if you go to Hasselhoff.com, you'll see all the parodies on Hasselhoff, which is Wax On, Wax Off, where you can wax off my hair. And uh, I play that game. I, I, I tear off the hair on my chest because I can't do it in person. And then I play pa Pac-Man where I can eat my own head, which is really good. I get to eat myself all day long. And then um, I play um, I play a lot of Wii. And I'm on uh, Nintendo, and I'm also on Electronic Arts Red Alert, which is cool because you get to play a character. But, um, but right now... So they, uh, Atari came by with this game and said, they showed me the character, and I just, I got it <laughs> right like away. I love it. I think it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Uh, believe me, I've seen enough caricatures on YouTube. Uh, so this one is, uh, <laughs> at least this one's positive. Yeah, I didn't, I'm not going to go into that territory at all. Actually so, not. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Mostly, you, just, you, you really like the games that pretty much star you. No, I like the games that are interactive, that have fun. I like, um, no. The answer is no, and that's a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> and you're stupid for asking it, Shane. What, that's all he, he went and yeah. about. Eat my own head, shave my own chest, play me in pain. Play me in that's a, a stupid question. That's a stupid question. Uh, I'm sorry, was, you just led me to believe, the interviewer, that, uh, you know, that was the case. I, that was, that was he, kind he of... He sounded really bitter to me when he was talking about that. The whole, the whole time he's, he, well, he... He's like, you guys think it's stupid that I sung on the Berlin Wall and I'm big in Germany, but I am. And yeah, yeah, you laugh about it. I'm cool with that. Wasn't at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were. We were stupid. Everyone else seems we weren't, to. We were saying that. Like, the still. reality is, I haven't seen your music. I haven't. I haven't heard your music. I haven't seen your videos. I know nothing about you as a pop star. The Germans do, and they like you. Who cares? What I do know is that Red Alert's cool because you play a character. <laughs> 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 what? All right, Tyler is going to make fun of David Hasselhoff. No, I like. I David asked. Hasselhoff. I asked a question specifically for Brett. It's about the NES Knight Rider. Oh yeah. Here goes. I'm dying to ask you about the original Knight Rider on the Nintendo. I don't. I've never seen that. Yeah, because Devin and Bonnie are in it, but you're you're nowhere to be seen. Really? Yes. Oh. Why not? Wow. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can tell he's fast. <laughs> wow. Yes, uh, he had no idea he wasn't in that. And wow. You, had no like... answer. <laughs> I wasn't in a 20-year-old game. Somebody should have told me. It's been but that's two like, That was like at the height of the show's popularity, from what I remember. And watching really? The show. Looking at the videos, it's got characters in the show and yeah. not... And, and and from I, I remember renting it and I don't remember seeing him in it so I watched a YouTube clip and I didn't still didn't see him in it so that's weird. He, he actually gave a legitimate explanation. Li Knight Rider was licensed out like a mofo. Yeah, it was at that point and uh, the cover of the box was just the car. They he, sold he, it on the car alone. This is how the interview actually ended. We're not going to end it like that because Hoff deserves better. Oh man, I was going to suggest something. Yeah, I know. It was because I found some news that he was recording an all oasis cover album <laughs> and i told him that i wanted to su suggest some covers because i'm really like a oasis is my guilty pleasure I, we should do don't hold back in anger and live forever and all those songs are very uplifting he was kind of like they should call where'd you get that i'm like uh wikipedia they should call it wankopedia that stupid shit that's not my bio <laughs> <laughs> why, why don't you just play him saying that this then? is how the interview actually ended oh man i was gonna suggest something yeah, I know. I know you were, but I don't have time. Anyway, um, I gotta run. My daughter's here. Sure. So, 
Um, you guys have a great day, and thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, David. All right, guys, bye. Click. Click. <laughs> knew you were going to, but he doesn't have. Wow, Come it's on. like, oh, that's a great question. I got to go. Actually, what, what, what turned him off, he was like, oh, I was in this in the SpongeBob movie. I'm like, I really loved you in the SpongeBob movie. That was really funny. And he's like, yeah. He was... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, like he he hated that. Yeah, like he, of he's tired not. of playing himself, and that was like all parody and, the, and half well, the joke. And, was on and him. that that's the thing. I'm sure that any genuine adulation sounds like sarcasm to him now. Like especially from twenty uh, somethings, steeped it, in irony as you are. It might be because we asked him if there was going to be a game version of Anaconda Three. <laughs> which he oh you should never take my advice which is one of the yes one of the few movies that he starred in as anybody other than David Hasselhoff I still just love the fact that he was genuinely stumped the fact he was not in the Knight Rider NES game he's, he's a busy <laughs> wow. man really he was really? actually actually about that time that the Knight Rider game was coming out for the NES he was yeah. he was way deep in Baywatch yeah it was it was like 90 at like four years after the show had been canceled yeah. here's the Hasselhoff's words to live by you guys are interviewing me which means I'm still in the game oh hell yeah you which are. is great and so <laughs> if I'm in the game what does that mean it means I'm in the game and as long as I'm in the game I can play and as long as I can play I can win is he a and that's what life's about man <laughs> yep. you gotta stay in the game no matter what Jesus. people deal you you stay in the game and when you come out of the game and you take yourself seriously and you stay at home, you're out of the game and you can't play, you know? And so this, the reason I love this game is because I can be able to knock Simon Cow out and he's able to knock me out. And anybody who ever wanted to knock me out, come on, let's go, you know? And I'm then, but, it, but it allows me to knock them out too, so it's fun. That's good. That's, that's a fair trade. I mean, personally, I don't think should ever take a swing at you, David. But, um... <laughs> Does he have like some sort of feud with Simon Cowell? No, they're both they're both in Ready to Rumble. There's like yeah, I know, but that's like the second time he's brought him up. Well, he was he actually talked a little bit of it, about his America's Got Talent contract. Like I think he may be having trouble getting that show renewed. Hmm. But he's basically Simon Cowell on it. You know what? Well, I, Not think, I think Cowell executive produces that show. So. Uh, All right.